So to begin, you'll want to use some thick poster board or thick cardstock. And I'm just using this poster board that I had left over from another project and I'm cutting out the shape of a heart. And I'm just trimming off the edges to make it the exact size that I would like it to be. And then I'm putting it um, in position on one of the mason jars. And then I'm making a second one of these to go on the other jar so I can work on them both at the same time. And because this is gonna get covered with paint and probably not be um, able to be used again. So here I am just cutting off the second heart. And now I have two matching hearts. And I'm taking my double sided tape and I'm just going to cover one side with that tape. And I'm covering this using it on the shinier side of the poster board. And once the heart was completely covered, I cut the excess tape off of the edges. And then I pressed this firmly down on the jar. The tape held up pretty well. It came unstuck uh, probably a couple of times, but I was able to press it down and it did stay eventually. And now I'm getting the red paint out. Just poured this into the cap as you see here and now I'm just painting right over the heart and all over the rest of the jar. And I waited about a half an hour for the jars to dry and then I just covered everything with the Mod Podge. And I immediately followed this up with the red glitter. After carefully peeling off the heart, I found that some of the paint and the Mod Podge had seeped underneath, so I used nail polish remover and some Q-tips, and I went over and wiped that off. You could either use this and, or some alcohol would probably work fine too. To sharpen the edges, I used um, the brush with a little bit of the Mod Podge on it and I traced out the edges of the heart and then I went back and added more glitter over those areas. And this is how it looked when both jars were complete. So for the final touch of the jar, I got this twine that I purchased at the Dollar Tree and I wrapped it around three times around the jar and then tied a knot, leaving a bit of excess twine at the ends there. And then I used that um, twine and wrapped it around two fingers so that I could create a bow out of it. And I think I wrapped this around about five times. So there were five loops on both sides. And then as you see here, I'm just tucking it in and then cutting off the extra part. And then I'm just gonna tie this directly to the jar with those extra strings that I left hanging. 
and then cutting off the remainder and then adjusting the bows as you see here and this is the final result so the very last thing I did was to add the pixie lights into each jar and then I display them on my shelf as you see so this is the final outcome I hope you like it if you do please give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing I make videos every week I'm continuing with one more video in this love or Valentine's Day decor series so please stick around and I hope to see you again thank you so much for watching